to our Mass today to celebrate the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time at Holy Spirit Church, Thornbury East. Let us reflect on the Gospel message. You shall love the Lord your God. The commandment to love God with all one's being is kept constantly before the Jewish people. It is recited daily in prayer and written on a small scroll. It is worn on their person and enshrined at the entrance to their homes. To observe this commandment, our love must embrace the whole of creation, especially our fellow human beings made in God's image. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's uh, scripture readings remind us that the Lord our God is the one Lord. First of all, we shall listen to Him and love Him with all our hearts. This is the first commandment. The second one is to love our neighbor. Let us call to mind our failure to live the commandments of God in our daily lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, if you fear the Lord your God all the days of your life, and if you keep all his laws and commandments which I lay on you, you will have a long life, you and your son and your grandson. Listen then, Israel, keep and observe what will make you prosper and give you great increase, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you, giving you a land where milk and honey flow. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Let these words I urge on you today be written on your heart. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I love you, Lord, my strength. 
I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. I love you, Lord, my strength. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise be the God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. I, I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. There used to be a great number of priests under the former covenant because death put an end to each one of them. But this one, Christ, because he remains forever, can never lose his priesthood. It follows then that his power to save is utterly certain, since he's living forever to intercede for all who come to God through him. To suit us, the ideal high priest would have to be holy, innocent, and uncontaminated beyond the influence of sinners and raised up above the heavens. One would not need to offer sacrifices every day as the other high priests do for their own sins and then for those of the people, because he has done this once and for all by offering himself. The law appoints high priests who are men subject to weakness, but the promise on oath which came after the law appointed the Son who is made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. For all who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him. Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well spoken, Master, what you have said is true that he is one and there is no other, to love with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. This is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
Now he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Because God loves us first, we are confident that our prayers are always answered, and so we pray. That all members of the Church may surrender their heart, soul, mind and strength to God in love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may remember that love is the foundation and motivation for making and keeping laws that sustain life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who rigidly keep laws but without love may have the understanding to know what really leads to fullness of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died recently, including Dimd, Tim, Doherty, and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, especially Thomas Egan and Justin Gallagher, are with their God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us all say the prayer to St. Joseph together. Hail, Glory, and the Redeemer, Redeemer spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself the Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. God, you alone are Lord, and you love us above all things. Hear these our prayers, and help us to offer you fitting sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy work for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim you death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the cope of the Resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. They save us command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, who graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as he awaited the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us of each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should hang down to my room, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as the lockdown is over, we will stop recording our messages. Thank you very much to all those who helped me to uh, organize uh, everything and thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for being with us via the internet. Please come to church when you can. Now let us accept God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The best is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father.